Yeah, Britta, you know, caution is a good way to put it, right? I'm trying to stand away from these weighed down branches of these trees, but like we've talked about this morning, we see this wet, heavy snow on the ground. Now things look a lot different as the snow's coming down. These are the biggest, fluffiest flakes that I have seen all day. We really got kind of a break for the last couple hours. Starting around 5 a.m., the snow tapered off, but now we've got this band moving through once again and some more snow, unfortunately, coming down on these trees that are already weighed down with all of the snow on those branches. And you can see in some cases, those branches have snapped off onto people people's cars here. Unfortunately, we have not met those their hotel guests. I assume staying here at this hotel, just like us who are sadly going to come out to experience this when they get out for the day. Hopefully they're hunkered down for now. But look, you can see more branches from these trees have snapped because of the wet, heavy snow. It's something that we've been seeing and we've been hearing since we've been standing outside since about four or five o'clock in the morning. And actually at one point today, uh, my photographer Raphael was setting up for one of our shots and he heard heard a plop sound and he thought maybe he dropped a piece of equipment, but it was actually the sound of the snow hitting the ground and it made a little hole in the snow that was already there. That shows you how wet and heavy this snow really is. It's making a sound. That's how, how wet and heavy it was earlier in the day. This is definitely different from what we saw then. But listen, the mayor has just declared a state of emergency in Binghamton because of the weather that we're dealing with. We've been checking in with the Department of Transportation throughout the morning on what they're dealing with. They say down trees and power lines are the biggest problem right now in Broome County where Binghamton is. That's uh, uh, causing closures on several route. Route 7 is one of them and other state highways as well. Um, also broken down tractor trailers causing issues as well. But a new update that Scott Cook just gave me from the Department of Transportation. He oversees this region. He says many traffic signals are also down around Binghamton area because of these downed wires and there's power outages across this area. So he wants to emphasize that if you do encounter or a downed, uh, a downed power line or a traffic signal that's not working, you have to treat that as a four-way intersection. You have to stop, come to a full stop unless there's a police officer there directing you to go somewhere. That's something to keep in mind if you are on the roads. But of course, today's probably not a day that you want to be out there. We've been checking these power outage numbers, and I will say they've gone down significantly since uh, the last hour. We saw them nearly triple from 3 a.m. until 7 a.m. Uh, at one point at P Peak, more than 170,000 people without power in New York. That number is now down to about 120,000, but still about 30% of people who, customers rather, who live here in Broome County, still without power, waking up without power this morning. So this is a storm that we're going to be tracking following. It's still not over yet, clearly, and we know that this winter storm warning is going to be in effect until noon today. Britta? I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.